بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم today we will discuss senses of paranitroalanine in course can 620 what are the chemical required for the synthesis of uh, paranitroanilin first we required aniline then acetic anhydride and glacial acetic so basically we will synthesize paranitroanilin in three steps in first step aniline is treated with acetic anhydride and heat it will converted into acetonilide and acetic acid will be formed so this is the chemical reaction of first step the procedure for the synthesis of acetonilide we will add 10 ml of acetic anhydride and glacial acetic acid into 200 ml flask then fitted the flask with longer air condenser and boil the mixture for 10 minutes and after heating and boiling we will pour this hot liquid into 250 ml of ice cold water with continuous stirring soon the acetonilide will be crystallized out so the hot mixture we will pour into a cold water with continuous stirring and we will get the crystal of acetonilide then we will filter by through suction pump and wash it with water to remove any kind of a residue then recrystallization of 50 ml of mixture of acetic acid with the water then filter of the colorless crystal at the pump section dry it and recorded the melting point of the compound that is acetonilide so in the first step we will synthesize acetonilide from aniline and in the second step the acetonilide will be nitrated so we will get para nitro acetonilide so nitration will be done in the presence of nitric acid and sulfuric acid so nitration take place at six number position that is para nitro acetonilide so what are the chemical required for the synthesis of para nitro acetonilide again we will get glacial acetic acid acetonilide that we have synthesized then concentrated sulfuric acid and nitric acid so these four chemical are required for the synthesis of second step that is para nitro acetonilide the procedure we will add glacial acetic acid in a boiling tube and then add acetonilide into it then the mixture was stirred and then we add concentrated sulfuric acid into the above mixture the hot reaction mixture was cooled in a ice salt bath till there was a temperature drop to 5 degree celsius then we will add slowly fuming nitric acid ensuring that temperature do not rise above 20 
because degradation can be take place so the temperature of the solution must be below 20 after adding the reaction mixture was brought to room temperature and allowed it to stand for 20 minutes the crude yellow solid was collected by filtration then it was washed with water and dry in air and after that a recrystallization also done by using hot methanol dry in the air and recorded the yield of the product dried in air after and we will record the yield and also calculate the melting point of the product So this is the second step which we used and next in the third step hydrolysis of para nitro acetanilide mean we will get acetanilide then hydrolysis take place and this ester group is changed to amine group so we will get para nitro analyte so it is done by using sodium hydroxide and concentrated sulfuric acid and also definitely we have first synthesized acetanilide so what are the procedure required for this 4 ml concentrated sulfuric acid and 3 ml distilled water was taken in 25 ml road bottom flask and then we add para nitro acetanilide that have we have synthesized in step 2 and sample was heated gently under reflux for 20 minutes then this react short reaction mixture was poured into a cold water and the pH of the solution is adjusted with sodium hydroxide so sodium hydroxide is basically used to adjust the pH of the solution until alkaline and a yellow precipitate was obtained. So we will cool the mixture in an ice bath. Uh, crude yellow solid was collected by filtration, thoroughly washed with water and dry in it in air. Again, it was recrystallized by using ethanol water mixture to obtain bright yellow crystal of the compound that is para nitro analyte. So, in this way, we will get our required product involving three steps. In the first step, we have synthesized our first product that is acetanilide and after acetanilide in the second step we will get nitration and we will get our product that is para nitro acetanilide and in the final step, that is the third step, we will get hydrolysis and our final product that is peronitro analyte. So this is the procedure to get peronitro analyne from analyne in three step synthesis. So this is three step synthesis in which we will get our required product and definitely after obtaining the pure product we will determine the melting point of the compound to check whether our required product is obtained or not and also we can verify it using spectroscopy 
like we will get IR spectra and UV visible spectra to check out the required product. Thank you very much.